pre-recorded live in front of a bowl of cottage cheese. It's the Derek Luna Show. This week, we give Harrison some legal advice in civic irresponsibility. And also, the makeshift monologue. And now, over the teeth, past the gums, look out people, here he comes, it's Derek Luna! Yes, that's right. It's me, it's the Derek Luna Show. Uh, you caught us right in the middle of lunchtime, and uh, she's pretty unhappy that we've had to turn the sound down on Moana so that I could do this stupid segment for my stupid YouTube show. Here you want a bite? It's good. You like it. Yeah. It's all about you, girl. <laughs> so welcome to the show. On this week's episode, uh, we talked to our buddy Harrison Broadstreet, me and Josh Wingo, and uh, really what the chief justices were, you know, set out to do was to give people great advice. Uh, we, it's not necessarily legal advice, but uh, he, he's up for jury duty, and me and Josh... And then Harrison kind of sat down and spitballed some ideas on what we could do to get him out of that. In a new segment we're calling Civic Irresponsibility. You want another bite? It's good stuff. Everybody loves cottage cheese, pound for pound, more protein than meat. But who's eating pounds of cottage cheese, right? You are. Also, uh, I wanted to do my upcoming tour dates. We've got some shows out on the road. I wanted to update you on those. Uh, Wisconsin, we're coming up north. Uh, I'll be in Webster, Wisconsin on August 18th. August 18th. Uh, and then a happy birthday to my man, Scotty Springer. I'll be stopping by his birthday party the next day. Hopefully getting another segment of uh, the Brothers Brothers Band interview. We've been postponing that because I knew I was going to see him in person. Here you go. Mmm, good stuff. Then, Wednesday the 23rd, I'm in Salina, Kansas. Uh, there'll be links to that uh, on, on my... Uh, <laughs> on my Instagram page, and then uh, I'm heading into Denver for the weekend. I'll be there the 25th and the 26th at the Denver Comedy Lounge, hanging out with uh, my good buddy Ben Kronberg. Hopefully, we'll get a uh, an interview with him, and I can show everybody the wacky mind of Ben Kronberg. He's just a gem of a human, and uh, you guys will love that. Uh, so I'll be there for the weekend. Then coming up in September, I know this is a month away, but uh, Springfield is getting its very own Don't Tell Comedy Show. It's a comedy show franchise. It's very popular. There's one, there's one in almost every major city in America. And Springfield, Missouri, little old Springfield, Missouri, is getting its very own Don't Tell Comedy Show. And uh, my buddy Harrison is uh, starting it off. Uh, we're going to do a, an interview with him at some point, probably just talking about the whole process and how excited he is about it. And uh, I'll be helping out quite a bit with uh, with those shows, I believe. Um, so we're doing that on September the 2nd. So uh, make sure you check out. Uh, I'll have links all over my social media, but make sure you get tickets to that. Uh, fantastic shows. Then uh, back up in Marshfield, Wisconsin on the 16th of September. And then we're going to end September the 29th at uh, Don't Tell Indianapolis. I'll be in Indianapolis and then in Sanford, Michigan on the 30th. So, yeah, that takes us through September. I'm adding some other dates currently. And, uh, and we'll soon have a website up where I can keep all these together in one place. Yeah, I know. Moana without the sound is just, it's just not Moana. All right. Well, we'll end this segment. 
check out uh, the legal advice that we're dishing out uh, to Harrison. You know, you shouldn't have to serve on a jury of your peers if you don't want to. I know it's your civic responsibility, but you know, there are ways around that. So check it out, enjoy the show, get out to a comedy show. It doesn't matter if I'm on it. I mean, it's probably better if I'm not on it, you know, honestly, for the sake of the show. But go out and see a comedy show. Go support some comedy. Check out some of the dates that I've got coming up. Go check out a Don't Tell Comedy show. Those are great. Go check out the shows that are on the Pub and Grub Comedy Tour at, at, uh, at BarComedyUSA.com. Shout out to those guys. Um, enjoy the show. And... Do you have anything to add? More cheese, please. Okay, all right. Okay. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay. All right. Enjoy the show. Have a microphone. Welcome to the Derek Luna Show. What are we calling this segment, gents? Do we have a name for the segment? Hmm. Civic duty, jury booty. Three guys, two mics. Civic duty, jury booty. I just doubled down. On yeah. Episode. Yeah. Yeah. So what's up? So it's pre. It's pre. We're in here in the salon in the school. It's pre open mic night. Hopefully. Pre game. Yeah. Pre-game mic night. It's tough. You have to remember yeah, to hold a right. microphone. It is. It's weird. This is a fun game we're going to play. Yeah. Like Harrison, <laughs> you were like, hey, Harrison has jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Came in and ready for everybody to give me uh, I think I'm ready to do my civic duty. Um, I think I'm ready to put an innocent man in jail. Uh, <laughs> nice. Okay, go. I'm going to give him this microphone. We're going to share that one. Because okay, yeah. Harrison sure. is going to be the star of this show, probably. Yeah. yeah. This segment. Called Jury Duty? Question mark? By the end of the segment, we'll have a name for the segment. I think so. And the segment, is, the segment name is going to be Wrongful Conviction. Wingo, have you ever served on a jury of your peers? No. I didn't register to vote. <laughs> like... 29 years old. Civic. <laughs> it's called civic irresponsibility. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you register for the draft? Are you a draft dodger? Yeah, I registered for the draft. But when I signed up, they said, do you want to register to vote too? And I was like, nah. <laughs> you just, I think I did that too. You guys just signed up for the one that could kill you. Not the well, Gillette yeah. sends you a thing that's like, hey, we'll send you a free razor if you <laughs> register for the draft. <laughs> and I'm like, and I was like, I'll have facial hair someday when I, when I was 18. <laughs> they don't give you anything free for registering to vote. Just, no. Just the, the right to vote. Just more responsibility. That's all that is. Which is, I mean, people have fought and died for it. And the fucking ladies and black folks fought <laughs> real hard to fucking get it, you know? Uh, well. <laughs> Not too long ago. Well, yeah. I, I am a draft dodger, though, because I had a future at one point. I don't know. <laughs> well, I think this future's <laughs> exaggerated, but Wingo, you had a thought? I was say, you didn't sign up for the draft? Isn't that illegal? Yeah, I was a draft dodger. Only successful people are draft dodgers. You have, well, you have a rich uncle or something. <laughs> yeah. There has to be a draft for you to dodge it. Yeah. I had bursitis in something. Oh, he's too weak and sickly. Yeah. Oh, you had shin spurs? <laughs> yeah. Swallowed some cotton You've never you took the you, x-ray. You guys obviously have never done any of those things. You <laughs> yeah. know how painful they truly are. <laughs> the gout. You've never had gout. So you're healthy enough to pl possibly play professional baseball. Mm -hmm, of course. But to serve in a military capacity. No way. No way. You know, <laughs> you know how... Like when, when someone's life is on the line, we don't want you here. <laughs> and I understand that. I don't... I shouldn't be there. I'm not that guy. You know how healthy you have to be to take a bullet? So when the draft card came around, you were like, I'm sick. Uh, I, this is not the draft that I'm signing up for. But to, you're, to be eligible to be in a draft. Yeah, the baseball draft. Oh, this guy. 
Jury duty. We were supposed to talk about jury duty. Yeah. I'm just waking up from a nap, guys. I feel so misled about what we're... I just got off work. <laughs> <laughs> tired in different ways. Guilty, both of you. I'm tired Slothness. from... Slothness. I'm tired from too much sleep. Mm. <laughs> Give me things to judge right now, and I'm, I want to practice my jury duty. I was selected in Los Angeles County <laughs> to go for the selection, and I didn't get selected. Mm, is that a bummer? So I can tell you what I did if you're trying to get out of jury duty. I don't know if I'm trying to get out of it. I might be trying to see it through. I think it might be kind of fun. Well, Wingo right off the bat is like, be racist. Explain yourself. <laughs> that's the easiest way to get out. I don't, not in Springfield, they're Missouri. Not gonna a, they're not going to put, oh, yeah, that's true. If I'm super racist, they're going to be like, put him in. Yeah. This is the guy we need. <laughs> you should just go in and say, here you just go and say, look, if he's black, he's innocent. That's all. Yeah. That's it. That's my decision. Uh, that be. Here they'd be like, all right, this guy's not going. A jury of your peers, your peers are, are racist. Yeah. So. Uh, juror number 37, why do you think you should not be here? Because I think black lives matter. Get out. Leave this place. So that was what I thought, too, was like, well, hey, just say some racy stuff mm -hmm. in the interview. But... My advice would be, hey, listen, you don't have to out yourself that hard. They'll know. They'll know I'm an idiot. Yeah. They'll take one look at me and be like, hmm. There'll be some, thing, some aspect of the case that you'll find your opening to be like, okay. Yeah. Because it's very obvious when they're doing the jury selection that, like, they want this type of person, not this type of person. Yeah. And you just have to make sure that you are that type of person. See, I, I would just be brutally honest. Which is, I would go in and I would tell them, look, I'm going to do anything and everything that gets this over for me as fast as humanly possible. Because you're a We're having to debate on the decision. I'm going, I'm, I won't even consider the evidence. I will just vote for whatever gets me the fuck out of here. <laughs> Bad citizen. Uh, yeah, maybe. You, you know what? Before this is over, I'm going to have to do a citizen's arrest on, <laughs> arrest on both of you it's for mocking true. our system. It's not true. <laughs> what he's saying, which is true, is you want to seem like a person that has a very closed mind. I think both sides, because that's the selection process, is both sides get to ask questions. And then, at, and then when they're selecting, both sides, one at a time, come up and be like, these five... No. And then the next, it's like picking teams in softball. By nature, this intrigues me so much because I just like to argue with people. Well, yeah, they will get rid of you immediately. And yeah. I think that's the yeah. thing that I was telling Wingo. I was like, I don't think I'd be good at it because I might just argue something and to argue be, it. And it'll be both sides will be like, this guy out. Like, mm -hmm. both sides will be like, yes. I'm just, <laughs> I just want to experience it. I just want to go and see what the, th the process is like. I'm, I'm intrigued by the whole thing. I remember this thing with me. The guy was on trial was a known gang member. Ooh, what like gang? Do you remember what? No, can, you, had, can you divulge information? No, you don't know any information mm. other than the questions they're asking you. Mm. Do so you my, which set you rip? Right away, I was like, <laughs> he probably has just visible tattoos. Like, something that... a a lawyer couldn't like cover in an Oxford shirt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? So they were like, if someone was a known gang member, would that affect your thoughts about whether or not they were guilty or innocent? And right away I was like, of course it would. If I knew. <laughs> Am I if they were like Wingo shoplifted. And I was like, oh, well, I don't know. Just looking at him seems like probably didn't. Seems all white. But then they were like, he's actually a known member of a shoplifting gang. I'd be <laughs> like, oh, well, then that totally affects my <laughs> outlook on whether or not he did it. Okay, that makes sense. So I said that, and both sides were like, get rid of this guy. Can I ask them questions back? When they ask you a question, is it bad for him to be like... I think it is. What, what gang? I think it is bad. I keep putting it over there just to offer it. <laughs> it, is a, it is a presumptuous move that puts somebody on the spot yeah, when they're not. Sure. Yeah. Hey, guys. <laughs> what do you think? I think that you should just go in there and argue with everyone. So be myself. I think that's yeah. the best advice you could give. when you're in the little waiting room area, whatever <laughs> just you're just in, pick and fights. Like a dude sitting next to you, just fucking argue with that guy. About it, like, just be like, man, those are stupid <laughs> pants you're wearing. I'll walk, in, I'll walk in with a MAGA hat and a Biden t-shirt. <laughs> and a Bernie Sanders pin on it. Everybody's like, what's happening? I just want to poke everybody's buttons. Pro-government. <laughs> I am pro-politician. I think they're the true winners here. <laughs> yeah, I think they'll find something that they don't like about you. 
You think I'm unlikable uh, in Just the eyes of the government? Just as a jury member, what they want is people that they can persuade. They want easy marks. Oh, so, oh, they want suckers. Yeah, they want somebody that's like they they feel like they could get on their side. Mm, so okay, well, not here. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not anybody. You'll find chump. some issue that you can be like. I hold the fence to this. Most likely, if it's here in town, it'll be a meth-related thing where you're like, that is a meth destroyed my family, and mm-hmm. I want to see all people who do drugs incarcerated. Yeah, I do have a lot of hard biases now that I'm just like rolling, like just in my mind of like things Ooh, that I, I would be a, really hard fast on. I got on. a hard bias. Just talking about that hard bias. Do you think you could get out if you're like, hey, look, I'm a chronic masturbator. <laughs> <laughs> it's a real problem. If I'm in that courtroom, <laughs> this leads us to the next level of getting out of jury duty. <laughs> yeah, how far are you willing to go? How far are you willing to go? I like chron- I like the chronic. Uh, I think the chronic. Mas- I think being ex- super excited about getting selected. If you were like, I'm just, ex- I'm super pumped about it because mm-hmm. I, I watch Law and Order. I get boners watching Law and Order. I think that's a good one. It's gonna be hard for me to not be hard. I think if you like got really sad, like any question they ask you, you get real sad about your personal life. You figure out how to make that sa- the law and order sound and make it every time dun, they dun, ask a question. Doo, doo. <laughs> <laughs> which which one of you guys is Dick Wolf? Uh. I think once you get in the one you're, you know, deliberating, that you you just like constantly change your decision. I got that. Fucking everybody. Else. But that's past the. That's that's at, that. You've been selected at that point, right? Yeah, that's material. that's twelve Angry Men material. That's, that's your favorite movie. So yeah. you're just like we're doing the twelve Angry Men. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing it. Only one of us can disagree, guys. It has to be a slow process. Somebody starts agreeing with you, and you're like, no, no, you no. You get no, everybody no. too fast, and you're like, no, that's too fast. <laughs> I'm gonna switch, but everybody else. <laughs> Only after a several impassioned speeches, please. It is crazy to think that there is a human life weighing in the balance. I'm going to stare out these blinds for about 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know anything about the case or anything? No, I don't think so. So he's not up for like life in prison, and I assume it's I don't a know, he. maybe. What so if it is? Like that, can I, we go ahead and just statistically assume it's a he? Ooh. I think so, but I, then if it's a woman... Other, then what other statistically is are we going to assume? None. If, if it's, <laughs> <laughs> I'll play with this one only. Um, <laughs> if it's a woman, I'm getting out because I'll fall in love with her. <laughs> I will. Fall in love. I'll fall in love with her. You're going to back the bus home up to the prison? And I've got to. I'll it. break her out of there. I've got the, it looks like a prison bus already right now. God, I really want to break somebody out with a file in a cake. Like you always used to see in the cartoons and yeah, stuff. I want to no, like put a chain on a truck and like pull the wall down. Yeah. <laughs> I got a bus. Put a chain Let around the you. wind uh, cell window <laughs> and pull it out. That's the way you do that with the bus home. Yeah, and then she just hops in the back door and we live our life happily ever after. Even though she murdered her children. I can look past it. You in your mind, she murdered her children. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to. He think. He also quickly made up the crime that she did. <laughs> yeah. It. She, you know, just cause, it's a loose phrase in the eyes of the law. What song are Harrison and his murderous lady listening to as they drive away uh, from the prison break? Jailbreak? Mother by Danzig. (laughs) Mother by Danzig. (laughs) Welcome to Miami. Band on the Run. Brown Eyed Girl. (laughs) You know, that's my personal favorite. (laughs) <laughs> My way by Elvis Presley. <laughs> it wasn't me by Shaggy. I think, I think it wasn't me. It's great. <laughs> yeah, jailbreak is my favorite. Who? Did, who's? What's Jailbreak? That's tonight. It's a TV it's show. That's a Prison Break. break. Oh, is that, uh... Thin Lizzy. Yeah, that's what it was. Thin Lizzy. I prefer Thick Lizzo. <laughs> Does Lizzo have a good prison break song? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Wait, um, I'm not sure. Maybe she does, maybe she doesn't. All right. <laughs> Jury duty. So when does this all go down? Monday. Well, hey, good luck. Yeah. You don't want your life to get all wrapped up in it. Well, maybe you do. What, what, what do you have get, going on? What if I get so sequ- important? <laughs> 
What do you got going on? Yeah, what if I get sequestered? If you got on jury duty, that's the busiest your show poster would be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm using my time. <laughs> They're like, Juror 37, what do you think about this case? Oh. Well, uh, <laughs> have you guys thought about uh, non-binary people? <laughs> It's, yeah, it's from, just stuck in, on a jury for me. Honestly, if it was that, I'd have so much fun with it. That would, could potentially be a dream come true. What would the O.J. Simpson trial of Springfield, Missouri be? Aaron Sachs would be our... Uh, <laughs> uh, Aaron Sachs. Aaron and, Sachs and Associates would be our... Uh, uh, O.J. Sachs. What's the lawyer's name? Travis oh, Sachs. yeah. What's O.J.'s lawyer's name? The, the Kardashian. Jackie Cochran. Jackie. Uh, Johnny, Johnny Cochran. Cochran. I'm, I'm mixing it up with the guy from Seinfeld, Jackie. Yeah. <laughs> who, who does told, Snyder? Who told, who told you to put the bomb on? <laughs> who does Snyder's of Hanover's ads now yeah. as Jackie? <laughs> Travis Kelsey murders a Springfield waitress. Aaron Sachs has to defend him. Yes, that's it. <laughs> I wouldn't make. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make it past selection because. Uh, would it matter if this person was a Kansas City Chief? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Damn him to hell. Good luck finding a jury in Missouri that's going to convict Travis Kelsey. This guy. Ooh, add some drama. Maybe Aaron Sachs because he's not a defense attorney. And he, he never, he settles outside of court. He's defending he never goes to court. The, the prostitute's family. <laughs> And uh, uh, what, who's? The, who, <laughs> well, no, I'm adding. I'm adding. I'm and I'm and yes, yes, anding is what I'm doing right so now. So then, what's his name? The guy who's the doctor uh, truck? Yeah, Brad Bradshaw is representing. It's Bradshaw versus Sachs. Mm. <laughs> you get and to see Bra those two titans going at it in. And, the and Bradshaw's like prosecutor. He's just bungling this thing from the <laughs> from the top, and Sachs is just running roughshod over his whole case. Dude, let's write this script <laughs> oh God, yeah. for the people of Springfield. Yeah. Super Bowl. Sachs. For the internet audience who doesn't know, Aaron Sachs is the local attorney who paid Travis Kelsey to be his best friend. Nine 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 nine. It's nine, seven nine, seven nine, seven nine. seven 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 seven. Whatever. Just push some fucking buttons and <laughs> he's get like, what I'm you here get. with my best friend Travis. <laughs> the, it's like he donated money to his thing. 87 and running. 87 and running. And the first commercial was like, hey, I'm here with Travis Kelsey from the Kansas City Chiefs, and they talk about the thing. And then slowly the commercials are like them playing catch in the studio. And the last one was like, hey, I'm here with my lifelong friend, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> and you can tell Travis is like, man, I... <laughs> The next How did I get to this point? The next ad is going to be, uh, hello, I'm here with my life partner, Travis Kelsey. We've moved in together. Um, we're having a great time. This is the new Taiwanese baby we adopted. <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Yeah. Sacks. Sacks and Associates. Well, I hope you His did. balls are so big, he needed you two sacks. <laughs> uh, <laughs> The Associated Sacks. Sacks. Do you remember, uh, oh, what was his name? The comedian here locally, like when I first started, who had the cutout of Aaron Sacks that he would oh, put his uh, face through? Trey Alexander. Trey Alexander. Had this. Shout out Trey Alexander. Had this giant uh, Aaron Sacks poster that he would yeah. put his head through and do uh, evil Aaron Sacks or whatever a, it was. Uh, he had a funny thing you do where he, he called his belly fat like his Aaron Sachs fat. <laughs> <laughs> he would pull his shirt up and squeeze it and just like do a stupid one. It didn't sound like Aaron Sachs at all. It was just funny. He would also uh, talk about Patrick Stewart all the time. Mm -hmm. He did a Patrick Stewart. He had a little Patrick Stewart like that. I remember yeah. I, when I moved back into town, he was here for like a month and then he left. Yep. And I just remember that dude cracking me up almost every time at open mic. He was doing something just bizarre. Him and uh, what's up, you dildos? Uh, that dude. They moved at the same time. Yeah, they moved they? at the exact same time. The little squirrely guy. Oh, I forget uh, his name. Dave, Dave Dial. Dial. Oh, he you was funny fucking too. dildos. I love Dave Dial. I hope they're still out there being funny. Put your hand out of the camera. This whole oh. thing is just goddamn. I get so wrapped up in the conversation. I know. It's great. I just want to be with you guys. I just want to block out that fourth wall and be like, you guys can't listen. Yeah. It's just, just for us. <laughs> this is a fucking, I'm getting ready for jury duty. It's, you, you think everybody's in there listening to the jury consolidate? Nobody's, plan, nobody's planning it out with two of their buddies. I'm going to live stream it. Figure out. <laughs> you think they'll let me? Yes. Oh, 
Yeah, they'll totally let you in there with Do your that. phone. Coming to you live from the courtroom, Do it's that. Harrison Broad Street, the comedian. <laughs> <laughs> We're here at the Journey Duty Selection. It's going to be dope, y'all. Tune in. See what I say about this motherfucking case. <laughs> I'm going to make somebody hang. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, we don't do that anymore? We can't hang anybody? Oh, my bad. I'm going to hang with some people. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Are you leaving? We wrapping this up. Any last minute advice for, for your jury duty? Grip it and rip it, buddy. Hey, grip it and rip it baseball. <laughs> Shout out Grip and Rip Baseball Just League. Just be, be honest. Be honest, and the government will not want you. Got my, speaking of the Grip and Rip, I got my baseball tryout that Sunday, and then jury duty on Monday. Who cares? Uh, <laughs> baseball. I care. I care. And you're going to care, too, when you're asking for season tickets to the Dodgers when they call me up. You're wasting your time with this baseball dream. Now let's mm. fucking get our dick jokes together and go to open mic. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking it out. Uh, this has been, our, uh, you know, our jury duty advice from, you know, part of the Chief Justice crew. Jury duty 101. Chief Justice, Chief Justice is bringing legal advice. I think that's the. Yeah. We're finally doing what we've meant legal to be advice. doing. Legal advice. Yeah. Legalese. Legalese. We'll figure out a good name Sounds for dirty. this segment. Uh, anyway, thanks for checking it out. And jury hey, booty. Don't let jury duty come for you, man. Don't put up with that bullshit. Fucking Dodge say, the draft. Say no. Don't pay your taxes. Say no. S steal, or, steal from Walmart. Or say yes and live stream it because that would be dope. Mm. Show, show us your butthole. All right. <laughs> <laughs>